Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Rare Candy here today. We are back on PTCGO, and today we're actually gonna be taking a look at a deck for the expanded format. We got the Egg Splat deck, one of my favorite decks from last season. I actually took this deck to a uh, day two finish at, uh, what was it, Greensboro Regionals last year? Whatever the North Carolina Regional was, I made day two uh, with the deck there, and I narrowly missed day two with the same deck in Toronto, actually. So I've been actually testing a good bit for the expanded format since Charlotte Regionals this year is actually the only regional I'm planning on attending. Uh, and at the time of filming, it's not yet been canceled, but if Toronto Regionals is any uh, indication to go by, we are probably gonna see Charlotte get canceled as well. But in the meantime, we're still gonna test, uh, show you guys some of the decks I've been messing with right now. And, uh, you know, even if it does get canceled, this is still definitely a fun deck for you guys to just play around with on PTCGO. But if you guys do need any of the cards to actually build this deck on PTCGO, if you head over to ptcgostore.com, use that coupon code RAREcandy, save some money at checkout. And, of course, our patrons over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg actually have an even bigger exclusive discount code of their own to use over there. So I will have links down below in the description if you guys want to learn more about that. But getting back into the deck today, if you guys aren't familiar with the Alolan Executor we have, this actually is a card came out back in Team Up. Definitely one of my uh, favorite decks, as I mentioned, from last season. And has a really cool attack here, Egg Splat, for a Grass and Colorless Energy. You discard any number of Execute from your, from your hand, and does 60 for each one you discard in this way. So if you guys don't play much Expanded, this probably looks really, really bad. <laughs> but Expanded gives this card some insane... Uh, you know potential combo pieces so of course we have the propagation execute that allows us to get it back into our hand after we discard it and then we also have the double dragon energy as well for our dragon pokemon you can only be attached to dragon pokemon but it's basically a double rainbow so obviously maxing both of those out now we are playing one copy of counter energy in this list as well counter energy is basically just going to act as our fifth um uh double dragon energy in the deck uh, especially too since we are playing the Arceus Dialga Palkia in this list uh, this is naturally going to take up at least one of our DDEs so if we have one on board after we've used Altered Creation we still have effectively four more outs to finding a way to attacking with Alolan Executor. So this is what the deck is based on just using Alolan Executor here if you discard all four eggs that's 240 and of course if you have something like a Choice Band or an uh, Altered Creation GX we can hit 270 and beyond knocking out no, basically anything in the game outside of like uh, you know some of the V maxes that are running around, um, but that's what we are essentially building around here. Of course, Arcstyle Apalkia GX, super good attack in the expanded format. Well, actually, both formats, but Alter Creation it gets even better in expanded because we do have Double Dragon to fill both of the effects of the attack for just one attachment, and this is going to allow our Alolan Executor to hit uh, you know even better numbers here. So we do have a couple of other Pokemon in the deck. We have one copy of Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is just for that bench barrier ability here, uh, just because, you know, our Pokemon really are pretty fragile outside of the ADPs. So we definitely need a way to at protect them. Uh, Execute has 30 HP. Our Dittos effectively have 40 or less HP. So Mr. Mime is going to be really good at preventing some of the, that uh, bench damage from coming our way. Now, the reason I am playing this one, though, is it does have Paralysis on a coin flip. You could opt to play Mew if you want to. Mew is actually pretty decent. Psy Power can set up some math for you if you can attack with your uh, counter energy. But Mr. Mime has 10 more HP and Psy Bolt can maybe be good in a pinch if we choose to. So that's why we are running this one over the other Mr. Mimes or Mew. And the other key Pokemon in the deck, we have, of course, one copy of Ditto Prism Star. This is really fantastic because we can evolve into an alone Executor without actually having to go through Execute. Because you have to remember, every time we evolve through Execute, that's effectively 60 less damage that we're going to have to play with. So Ditto Prism Star, immensely important in the deck. Uh, we also have two copies of Ditto from Boundaries Crossed, another insanely good card in this deck. Uh, it's kind of a long forgotten card. Uh, if you guys didn't play back then, this probably will look very new to you. But has this ability transform during your turn before you attack me. Put a basic Pokemon from hand on top of this Pokemon. Uh, this does not count as playing that Pokemon or evolving. This Pokemon is now that Pokemon in any cards attached to the Pokemon, damage counter, special conditions, turns and play, etc. remain on the new Pokemon. So the what this means, I, I know that's a very confusing ability, but basically let's say we have a low end executor in the active spot, we have this ditto on the bench. So what we can do is, let's say we evolved our active through Ditto Prism Star, and we have all four of our executes in the discard pile, we can get them back to hand, toss them away to do 240 at the least. 
And then next turn, whenever they knock out that Alolan Executor, we can actually go transform into Execute, then immediately evolve into a fresh Alolan Executor. So Ditto is, allow, is a way that allows us to basically always keep our damage maxed out uh, at all times here, which is very, very important. The less, the less Executes we have to have on our bench, the better for our deck. So we're playing two copies of this card as well. So a lot of one ofs in this list, actually. So let's go over some of the important ones. We have one copy of Lance Prism Star. This is another card that's going to allow us to keep our damage output pretty maxed out. So we can only play if one of our Pokemon was knocked out during your opponent's last turn. But search your deck for up to two Dragon Pokemon, put them onto your bench. So again, this is another way we can get a load and Executor into play without having to actually go through Execute, which is really good. So we have the one Lysander, one Guzma split in the deck. We have one copy of Acerola here. Uh, this is a card I've gone back and forth on. I've had AZ in the list. I've had Acerola in the list. I've had no copies of either. But right now I'm settling on Acerola just because after we attack with ADP, it's definitely a liability. You know, we're a single prize deck, largely speaking, and we want to kind of uh, be a single prize deck. We, we don't want a three prize or just sitting on our board. So after we use Altercation, if they do attack into us, we can Ace Roll it back into our hand and get it off the field. So I did have AZ in the list before, just because AZ, if they don't attack into your ADP, you can still pick it up and get it out of play. But I like the Ace Roll because you can actually get your DDE, or your DDE back in hand and attach that on a low and Executor. So that's why I'm currently settling on Ace Roll, but uh, you can play AZ or you can just not play any of them at all. But right now, like I said, settling on the Ace Roll. Also have a copy of Fava in the deck. This is basically going to be our third field blower. Uh, it's going to allow us to get rid of a tool, special energy, or stadium your, uh, that's in play. Put it in the lost zone. So good at getting rid of those float stones on guard boaters, getting rid of those silent labs. Also, if we're going to get something like a Noivern GX, Fava is going to allow us to get rid of opposing double dragon energies or maybe double Chorus energies if we're going against Seismitoad or Zora Arc. Uh, but basically, this is going to be a third field blower effectively, but I like the option being able to get rid of special energy specifically. So that's why we are playing this over a third blower. Uh, so let's see, we have one copy of Ranger, which actually might look really weird in the deck because we are playing our own ADP. So Ranger, you remove all effects of attacks on each player and his or her Pokemon. So this is good actually if we go against an opposing ADP deck and they get off Altered Creation before we do. Sometimes we can actually kind of forgo the Altered Creation GX strategy and just play this as just a single prize deck. Uh, so Ranger's going to allow you to do that, but also this is another card that's going to allow us to get through something like Noivern GX. That Sonic Volume attack is definitely a pain against our deck, and we want to be able to um, clear that effect from play to allow us to keep attaching our special energies. Uh, four copies of Roxy. This is one of the new cards that I think really gives this deck such an insane boost uh, since I played it last season. So you discard up two Pokemon that aren't GX or EX from your hand. Draw three for each you discard in this way. So of course the big thing is we can get back two Executes, discard them, and just get effectively a free draw six. Roxy, see some playing standard button expanded. This card is so good, especially like I said with the Propagation Execute. Uh, let's see, we have two N just as, you know, some disruption. Uh, in the deck, we, we are playing one copy of Cynthia as well. Cynthia is going to be good in the, well, I originally had this as a third end, but I really liked having the option for just a vanilla draw six against decks that are playing uh, ability lock, because if we are ability locked, um, you know, we can't as reliably use something like Roxy. And especially like in the late game, like let's say we've already knocked out a few things and we're down to like two or three prizes and our opponent uh, has Garbodo in play or a Silent Lab, and we can't get those executes back into our hand, Cynthia is going to be a much more reliable way of drawing cards in this situation. So I like the one of Cynthia, basically for like the ability lock decks. Uh, let's see, we have one Choice Band, one Muscle Band. Choice Band is an alternate way of hitting 270 if we have to, if we have to forego our ADP strategy. Um, so that's nice. And also, if we prize one egg, we're hitting for... Um, 180 base, 210 with ADP, then 240 with choice bands. That's going to knock out uh, certain GXs that are in the game, like Pikaram as an example. But we also have the one muscle band. Muscle band is going to be for Zacian decks in particular, uh, just because if we are attacking with three executes, like discarding three at a time, we're hitting 180, Alter Creation puts set 210, and muscle band will get us over that 220 hump. 
Uh, otherwise, we have to have all four eggs, access to all four eggs at all times. And sometimes if you prize one or you have to evolve through a Ditto or Execute, you don't always have that luxury. So the one muscle band is for uh, Zacian. Uh, two copies of Chaotic Swell. This was a card that used to be Shrine of Punishment last season when I played this deck. Uh, but like Chaotic Swell, it's going to be able to keep those Silent Labs out of play. We already have a number of other ways at increasing our damage output. So I don't think Shrine is as necessary now. So Swell is very good at removing your opponent's Silent Labs in particular. That's the big card we really want to keep out of play with this deck. Uh, we have one copy of Town Map. This is kind of a luxury card, but one that I think is pretty good in this deck. You turn all of your prize cards face up. So if we prize any executes or any double dragon energies, this deck gets substantially worse. And we need to be able to fish those out very e efficiently if possible. So town map, really nice at getting your executes out of your prizes whenever you do need them. And also even in other situations, town map is just good to be able to find exactly what you need uh, when you want it. See, so we have compressor, of course, to get rid of our eggs. Computer searches are a spec. We have the one copy of Great Catcher in the deck, uh, of course, because we can so easily discard eggs from our hand and take a knockout on GXs and things like that. Um, but from there, everything else, pretty standard stuff. I know we went over a lot of cards, but uh, that is gonna be the list we are trying out currently for the Alone Executor deck. But uh, let's head in some games. We'll show off how old Egg Splat is going to look now in 2020. All right, so let's go ahead and call the coin flip. We do lose the coin flip, let's see. So our opponent is gonna to choose to go first, that is fine with me. Unfortunately, we are gonna mulligan, which is somewhat common with this deck. We really don't play too many basics, what, the four eggs, two ADP, two Ditto, one Ditto Prism, so. This is actually a decent hand. Now, if we had a Battle Compressor, this hand would be sick because we could uh, get rid of some eggs. Right now, we're gonna to have to probably Roxy away this uh, Alone Executor. I really don't like that. But if we can just draw an egg, or a battle compressor um, for our top deck, that would be sick. And it looks like we're going against a Zacian deck. All right, so here we're just gonna see an Intrepid Sword. Nice, so not putting on too much pressure. Oh my God, and they hit two energy, that's kind of annoying. And we do hit N, that's actually really good. So we'll just attach here, uh, just go for the N. And hopefully we can find ourselves a Ditto Prism, that's our next order of business, and we do find it, that's definitely good. So is there any reason to go for Trainer's Mail this turn? Is there anything else we want? And I just don't think there is. So we'll get down both of our dittos. Uh, Cause I don't want to play this and then get end by our opponent. So if there's nothing we really want, um, I think I just want to hang on to that. So uh, I know it's very tempting to always just burn your Trainer's Mails when you have them, but if there's not a reason to play it, if there's nothing you're looking for, save it. Uh, that might just work out a little bit better. So here we're gonna go for the Altered Creation. Now, one thing I'm worried about is do they play Ranger? Because Zacian already has some incentive to play Ranger. Uh, just because Brave Blade, of course, is going to prevent them from attacking. So Ranger is actually pretty good in Zacian inherently. Here we're going to see a Quick Ball getting rid of. Ooh, okay. They are playing Kartana GX. That's actually pretty annoying. Here we're going to see Quick Ball. Now, if they go Kartana, get rid of our DDE, then go Ranger and hit for 230. Like, <laughs> that's, that's pretty obnoxious. So we'll have to see what's going to happen here. Stealthy Hood, not really too worried about that. Alrighty, so they do need an energy. If they whiff the metal energy, that's actually really big for us. So they do have an Oranguru as well. It is going to make them a little bit more end proof. But if they whiff the, the energy, that's really big. Okay, so they have the energy if they're discarding it. Gonna go for a Shaman. And I do like the fact that they have two float sins down because they probably don't play more than two or three. So our blowers are going to be very effective. They're going to be very reliant on going Guzma, switching into something on the bench, freely retreating. So that's going to be nice. And here you can see they are going for Guzma. Probably going to target down this Ditto, I would imagine. Because the ADP is really not much of a threat here. Alrighty, so that is definitely a bit of a bummer. Uh, now, hopefully we haven't prized any eggs. That's one thing we have not yet been able to check on. Go for Trainer's Mail. And we do hit Ultra Ball, so we can do that, I guess, but we don't have any eggs in the discard pile, and I really don't want to discard the, like any of the cards in our hand in particular, other than the Lysander, so... 
Man, unfortunately... Like, we could discard Stretcher, maybe? Oh, uh, that feels bad, though. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to go for the end here. Alrighty, so what we can do, we we can actually go for Paradise Draw this turn. Uh, Paradise Draw is actually a super good attack. Um, so, of course, we will go for the Compressor to start out with. So, we did prize an egg. That's actually really bad, them knocking out the Ditto Prism Star. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So we're just going to put teammates in there, I think. Alrighty, so... Yeah, we'll just do that. And we're going to go ahead and toss away these. Grab ourselves another Ditto. And we will just go for Propagation. Now, unfortunately, we did not hit a Field Lord. That's something that actually would have been really nice here. So, unfortunately, we're just going to go for this. And go for Paradise Draw. Uh, we're not going to discard anything for our hand. I want to keep everything that we have right now. And we do have a field board. That's good. We have Roxy. So hopefully they knock out this alone Executor. Actually, I shouldn't say hopefully, but that would put an egg back in our discard. Here they have Verseeker going for Guzma. So are they going to target down the ADP? That's the next question. Okay, so here they're going to go for the Ditto. Um... Now, I'm wondering if, if they have a way to actually knock out an ADP in one hit in their deck somewhere. I don't think they will, so maybe they're they're just going to play around this saying, you know what, I don't have a way to one-shot this, we're just going to knock out all of these alone executors and everything, and we're just going to win that way. So we'll see an Instruct from them. And they do have Shrine. That is actually a little bit annoying. Unfortunately, I don't... I don't think we... I think we have to wait and get a Chaotic Swell. I think we have to get rid of Floatstone. That's going to be the more important thing. Oh, we do have Acerola. Uh, but no DDE. That's like the big issue right now. So, so here we're just going to go for a Propagation. And yeah, I think we'll just do this. That's fine. Or, well, no, because we're going to need to discard. We're going to need to discard this with Roxy to draw more cards. So we'll actually get rid of the Acerola, I think. Or what am I talking about? We can actually just discard the egg. E either way, it's fine. Uh, Acerola being in discard is actually fine just because we can get out with Verse Seeker. We still have all four left in decks. So that's fine. So, yeah, we'll just go for the egg. And yeah, we're just gonna Roxy. Oh wait, we can't get rid of uh, our GX's. Oof, that that's a big oof for me, guys. Nevertheless, we didn't get punished. We got the DDE, which is good, I suppose. But um, I would have I would have liked to, have, of course, drawn three cards deeper. So I forgot Roxy won't let you discard your GX's. So that's my bad, guys. So we'll go for a Compressor, get rid of Mr. Mime, probably Mr. Mime's probably not too good in this matchup. Do Guzma and Ranger maybe? Maybe Faba, I think that's probably a bit better. Um, We already have Lysander in there. I think we'll actually just leave the Guzma in deck and we'll get rid of Ranger here, I think. So here we're going to get rid of the Float Stones. I think it's going to be the more pressing thing. 
We can let Shrine stay and play for one turn. I think that's going to be it, though. Now, here we will Stretcher. We will put a Ditto back on our board. That way we can attack for the most possible with our eggs. All right, so we'll do that and we will just go for the egg splat here. Just doing 150, prizing the other egg really, really bad for us. I mean, we would have had to have found muscle band either way to get the knockout. So I guess the extra egg didn't make too much of a difference here. Because either way, we had to two shot this thing. So let's see how they're going to be able to respond. Do they have another Guzma? They've been able to Guzma twice in a row. Okay, it looks like they're just going to retreat into Cartana. Going to go for Max Wixer. Now, Cartana, I believe, shuffles itself back into the deck, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's see. Yeah, it's going to shuffle them back in deck. And they do have a Juniper, so we're not going to see a Guzma for a change. And they're just going to go for the Blade GX, apparently. All right, so. I think this is the turn. We're going to go for Acerola here. We really need to get this ADP off of the board. And now at this point, I'm actually like kind of okay with the Shrine being in play, if that is going to be the case. So we're going to get our eggs here. And this should be a knockout because ADP is going to put us at 150. So their own Shrine damage kind of coming back to bite them a little bit. And now all we have to do is knock out just one Zacian and we are going to have the game here. So we get a Swell, that's good. Well, I guess not if we want to leave the Shrine in play. We get Energy Lotter, that's good. And we get our Egg, that's, that's the big thing we really wanted to see off of that. So an end would be bad for us, that's what we really don't want to see. Because right now we have the Egg. Um... But we still have to find an energy and an alone executor. So here they're just going to promote the Zacian. Interesting. So right now I feel pretty good about our chances. Now if they disrupt our hand. Oh, they do have Ranger. So that is definitely a bummer. So he won't be able to win immediately. But... But me, nevertheless, I feel pretty good. Now that we have the ADP off the board, I feel much more confident about our situation. But it is a bummer we can't just knock this thing out and uh you know be done with the game that way so do they have the manual attachment that's the the big thing that they're going to be looking for here i would imagine they do otherwise they probably just promote a rangaroo to see ultra ball and they do have a supporter it looks like so They aren't going to be drawing dead this turn, that's for sure. Maybe they're trying to... Oh, here they're just going to go for the Intrepid Sword. That's actually really big. Huh, maybe they just couldn't Juniper their hand away? I have no idea what just happened there, guys, but we are more than willing to take it. So here we're going to go for the Propagation. Um, we'll go for Roxy, discard these guys right here. And okay, so we're going to just Ultra Ball, getting rid of both of the ADPs. We don't need this at this point. Uh, we can grab a Lone Executor if we want. We have now we might hit Lance off of the prizes, which might allow us to potentially. There might be some incentive to leave these in deck for the moment. Or I guess as long as we only have one in deck, that's really, I think, all we're going to need here. So we'll get that out. And we do have a DDE in the discard. We could go for the special charge. I think I want to in case of an end. I think it's going to be really important that we uh, increase our, our chances here. But first we should... Um, and I think we'll actually keep the energy lotto in deck as well as a result. So we'll go, go for trainer's mail. We'll grab the Verse Seeker and we should have game. As long as our hand doesn't get disrupted on this next turn, uh, we're going to have game. 
So we're just gonna go for the propagation. Yeah, because if we discard two, that's gonna be enough to take a knockout. So we'll go for the transform on the egg and we can just evolve into low and executor. And yeah, we're gonna go for the special charge. Now that we use the trainer's mail, we didn't want to clunk up our deck with energy before we use trainer's mail. And so do they play Faba? That's another question. I don't see it. So I think we're actually safe to go and attach this this turn. Otherwise, I would probably want to save that. Um, Chaotic Swell's probably okay. I don't... Because they have Shaman, we can just knock that out. I don't think any more Shrine damage really affects the math. So just trying to play down our hand as much as possible here, guys. Uh, we will do... I don't think... Yeah, I think we're just going to get down both the Float Stones. I don't think we need choice bands or anything like that at this point so we're just going to how many blowers have we we've only used one so i guess technically we can blow her and get rid of a float stone if we choose to as well but i think our plan is to just knock out either shaman or dedene and that be the game all right so we're gonna go for the egg splat here discard both of our eggs so let's see what do we get Oh, and here we just get the victory screen. So that's, uh, I guess they didn't have much of a response for the next turn. So, old Egg Splat, gonna get the dub. Alrighty, so we are gonna lose the coin flip to Meteo Spark. So let's see who they're gonna make go first. So us. See the grass deck box. That actually could be bad for us. Oh, but we do start with the ADP. That is good. Now, I'm kind of worried if this is the Rabbit Alone Executor deck, I think we actually have a pretty bad matchup against that, but the ADP does kind of tip things in our favor a little bit, but here they have a Jinx, very interesting. So that leads me to believe that this is something like Spirit Tomb, or maybe like Beedrill? I don't know, we'll have to see. Very interesting thing to see them start with. So right now, I'm not gonna play, assuming they're playing the Rabbit Alone Executor deck, I don't wanna make any assumptions like that. So I think we're just going to get down our eggs like this. Maybe throw a teammates in the discard. Actually, we probably don't need that anytime soon. I think we'll throw an N in the discard. Or maybe even Cynthia. Cynthia is probably a little bit of a safer option to have. So we're going to Propagation. We definitely want to get down at least one of our dittos this turn. I'm going to hang on to the Computer Search as well. Just again, we don't know what we're playing against. Even though we see the Grass Deck Box, all that stuff. Uh, you know, if this was a real tournament, we wouldn't see anything like this. So we shouldn't uh, try to guess what they're playing based off this stuff. Based on the Jinx, we have no idea what they're playing. I'm assuming a Spirit Tomb deck or something like that. That's one of the only cards I can really see where it making a difference to... Um, to play the Jinx. So I think from there, we have a pretty good hand we can just sit on. So we're just going to uh, pass. This actually would have been a sick turn two hand because we have the DDE, we have the Roxy ready to go as well. So let's see what we're gonna be playing as we see the Oak setup. Okay. What is that going to tell us? No doubt we're gonna figure out what we're playing against pretty soon. Yeah, we have, so actually we see both. We see the Weedle and Spirit Tomb. We see the Blitzel, so no doubt they're playing Zepstrika. Now I'm curious since they are playing this, uh, they could be playing the item block Zeb Strike in there as well if they want to. The one back from, was it Noble Victories, I think? Or maybe it's Next Destinies, I forget. That could be like a tech option. So, yeah, since we're playing the ADP, I think we're probably just going to win this. Oh, but I did forget old Beedrill is going to be a pain for us. So... What are the odds they're going to have Rare Candy Beedrill Floatstone next turn? I'm going to just hope that they don't have that because if they knock out our ADP, this gets substantially sketchier. <laughs> um, especially if they had like Rare Candy Beedrill, Floatstone, Ranger. Oh my god, that'd be that'd be so awful. See so here, we're just going to go for the Roxy. Again, I want to save this computer search. I don't know exactly what we want to do yet. Let's see. Ooh, <laughs> those are some bad prizes. 
Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go for the uh, double dragon. And we could Ultra Ball grab the... Yeah, I think we're gonna grab the Alolan Executor right away. I don't think it's really in danger of being knocked out here. So we're just gonna go for the Propagation. Actually, it probably would be good to actually discard one of these supporters instead of the two eggs. We kind of do want one Gusting option in the discard, I think, but we already Propagationed. Might not be a big deal. We play com plenty of Compressors, so we could still make that happen if we need to. Uh, but from there, we're just gonna grab our Alone Executor here. I'm just gonna evolve before, uh, in case we get End or something like that. And so, yeah, we're just going to go for the Alter Creation. And what I'd like to do next turn, if they don't retreat, I would like to actually go Computer Search for DDE, Guzma, and knock out this Weedle. I'm actually more scared of the Weedle. Oh, God, they have the Rare Candy Drill. Do they have the Retreating Method? Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. They have the Zepstrika to go with it, and they have the energy to retreat. So this just got substantially sketchier. Um, we put Cynthia in our discard instead of N at the beginning of the game. They have Chaos as well. Not really worried about that. Now, the one good thing about this is that the Beedrill is going to give us a prize in the process. And luckily, Alter Creation kind of makes up for the prize difference we're going to have after they use uh, Destiny Stinger. So, of course, they knock out both active Pokemon. And what's nice is we can actually take a knockout. We get a prize from this, but then we also take a knockout on our turn, too. So, even though they are going to get three prizes, I think we're still in a good spot. And so, yeah, we will definitely go for the uh, DDE here. Or, I mean, I guess we could go for the counter energy while we're like a turn ahead, I guess. And get some use out of it for the moment. So, sure. We'll actually do that. Because after we take our first knockout, Counter Energy is not going to be any any use for the rest of the game. So I want to get use of it while it's not a dead card in our deck. So what are we going to see them promote? Maybe uh, maybe a Spirit Team? Maybe like the Spirit Team without any damage. That could be an option. Okay, so that seems good. So I think we actually kind of want to Guzma or uh, Lysander this thing. So we'll just do this. Because I think the Spirit Tomb's the threat. I don't know what else would really give us a hard time. So we're going to do this. We're going to go for our Propagation. And basically, I think we're going to get a Ditto this turn. I think that's the play here. I mean, like, I mean, we really don't even need a bunch of eggs and discard as it is. So we could just evolve through eggs this whole game, I think, if we really want to, guys, but... It's okay, I suppose. We have... Yeah, we're gonna get two more prizes, so I feel pretty good about the state of this game right now. Now, I'm curious if they have any other weird text that could potentially give us a hard time. Uh, we're going to get this... I think we're going to get this muscle band down in preparation of an N or something like that. So, we'll just go for the egg spot here. We'll get rid of the egg. And so, we're going to get two prizes. And sure, we'll get the Lone Executor. And I think we'll get the DDE. Those are both cards we want to see in case we get end. And so as long as our opponent doesn't have a knockout, I think we're just going to run away with this game this turn. So this is fine. Um, because if they ever use Beedrill again, they basically just lose. Because we can take a two-prize knockout on anything, and then Beedrill is going to knock itself out, and we're just going to win the game from there. Now we're going to see Guzmahala. That is going to be annoying. 
they have black market prison star that would actually be a pain for us but we do have verse seeker so we can still play around it okay just a chaotic swell that's fine uh since since it's not black market that means we can actually play a different supporter which is definitely going to be preferable here they are going to use up striker now hustlebot's not going to activate though i don't believe yeah, it's not activated yet. They have to get down. They have to get one more damage counter on this Spirit Tomb. So they need another Spirit Tomb, then move the damage counter with Jinx's Ominous Posture ability. But is that even enough? Because English Cry... So they'd be hitting 90 if they do that, plus the 60. They'd be 10 short. So either way, I, I think we have this game, guys. I really don't see a way that we're going to lose this thing. And yeah, here we just get the victory screen. So uh, the beach roll is kind of scary at the beginning, but uh, you know, getting two prizes every time we get a knockout and getting a prize when they knock themselves out, I think it's just too much for them to overcome. Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap up our look here at the old egg splat deck. Definitely this thing is a lot of fun to play. I don't know if you guys have ever messed with this thing before or followed it back last season whenever I was posting about it. Uh, but this deck is a ton of fun to play. And uh, it definitely actually has some pretty good potential in the expanded format. You do very well. I think it generally gets most of the big like two and three prize decks. But there are definitely some things that still give this deck uh, some issues. Anything that's ability lock or special energy denial is really going to um, be a thorn in this deck side. Also, bad prizes really can screw you over. If you prize two eggs, sometimes it feels like it's kind of hard to like cobble together knockout sometimes. So things can definitely go wrong, but whenever this thing is firing off on all cylinders, it feels really, really strong. And like I said, it's really awesome this deck got some really cool new cards in recent sets like the ADP, uh, like Roxy, etc. So definitely feel free to try it out. I don't know, like I said, if Charlotte Regionals is actually going to go through at the time of filming. It's not yet been canceled, but I'm not holding my breath on that by the time this video gets released. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this content today. Of course, if you did, feel free to like and subscribe and consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch from our online store, rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.